Hi, the Aim on Mercy Solutions. Today we're going to look at the 13 reasons to use Optical for Archive. First, though, what is Archive? Archive is not backup. What do I mean by that? Backup is when we're backing up your computer so you can restore it, whereas Archive is managing data for the long term. So for Archive, we're thinking of things like photographs, videos, precious digital memories that you would want to keep for 10, 20, 30, or even 100 years. Basically data you do not wish to lose and not being constantly changed. So let's jump into it. First reason to use Optical is compatibility. You can use it on a Mac, PC, or even a Windows machine. Click here to see a video where we actually access a 20 year old disk on all three operating systems. This brings me on to point two, the longevity. Optical has very little storage requirements. It's quite happy being stored in the same environment as you or I would live in. Admittedly, you do not want to store it next to a heat source or in direct sunlight. But if it's stored in a case on a shelf, put away somewhere safe, it's gonna be fine for years to come. So point three, the media is read only. It can't be changed once it's created. Four, the cost. Let's have a quick comparison with the cloud. As you can see here, I've taken the cost for using a Google Drive. 100 gigabytes in the UK would cost £16.15.99. Two terabytes will cost £80.79.99. Now you can store the same amount of data on 1,828 gigabyte disks, you can store two terabytes of data. The cost of these disks is gonna be about 10 pounds a disk. You can therefore protect two terabytes of data for 180 pounds, less than the cost of storing the data for just three years in the cloud. This brings me on to point five, the ease of handling. An optical disk doesn't require any real specialist handling. Yes, you need to protect the bottom and the top, scratches and physical damage, but it can be stored in a case, multiple storage devices, and is easily placed into a drive and accessed. The next benefit is the small capacity, ranging from 650 megabytes for a CD to 128 gigabytes, or even five terabytes on an optical disc cartridge, something like this. Now, compared to a tape, if that piece of media was to be lost or damaged, you've only lost the size of the piece of media. So if you had a 128 gigabyte optical disc versus an 18 terabyte stored on tape and the disc was to be damaged, you've lost 128 gigabytes of data versus a tape with 18 terabytes, you've lost all of the data on the tape. Next benefit is random access. What do I mean by that? So random access. Optical disc, the data is written in circles around the disc. The laser can jump to here, here, or here, and read from any part of the disc. Whereas with a tape, the actual drive will have to stream forwards or backwards to locate the actual data on the tape. And this can create a long delay on getting individual files back. So the other big benefit with optical is the security. There's no way to change this data once it's safely on the optical disc. The other big benefit with optical is the immutability. Once it's on the optical disc, there's no way to actually physically delete that. That means no ransomware or malicious actor can change that data. The other thing is the optical media cannot be damaged with a magnet. As you can see, the magnet on the disc will have no effect. However, if we do the same with tape, which I've done, you can watch that here, you'll see the effect the magnet has on the tape. The other thing with optical discs is they're water resistant. They're very resilient to floods and getting wet or water damage. Normally you can just dry the disc off and actually read the data straight back off of it. Whereas with a tape or hard disc, you're gonna lose your data. Optical media is also drop proof. It doesn't mind hitting the floor. It's very resilient to it, whereas a hard disk or tape can be physically damaged. The optical media can also be stored digitally. So you can create a hybrid store. So you can actually create an ISO image on a computer, which is an exact replica of the physical optical media. Therefore, you could actually produce 128 gig or 25 gig Blu-ray disks for your archive and store an ISO file on the computer system. You can simply double click 
and then open within your computer. And one that's often overlooked is when you've got the physical media, you can pop that straight into a drive and access the data. Whereas if you're dependent on the cloud and your internet connection fails or is down, you have no direct means to getting that data back from the cloud. And as a bonus, if you're interested, take a look at what these look like when they're put inside the mechanical jukebox. So we can actually turn these into a much bigger drive. I've got a couple of videos here on a jukebox for 128 gigabyte discs and also the Sony Optical Archive, a big petasite library. Thank you.